At this point, you have all the working components of a game, except for the ability to keep track of points to determine if you've won or lost. In this case, the goal is to keep the otter fed without eating all of the fish in the river. We need to keep track of how many fish the otter eats and how many fish are still in the river. In computer science, we can keep track of things by using variables. If you notice in the top left hand corner of this stage, we have two variables already created for us, fish eaten and fish population. We want the fish population to increase when a clone is created and decrease when a clone is eaten. We want the fish eaten number to increase by one when a clone is eaten. We will start by adding to the fish population when a clone is created. Click on the fish sprite. Go to the variable blocks and find the change fish eaten by block one. Put that block between hide and go to XY block. We need to change this block so it changes the fish population instead of fish eaten. Use the drop down arrow next to fish eaten and change the variable to fish population. Now, when the clone is created, it will increase the fish population variable by one. Currently, the game is not keeping track of the fish population and fish eaten when the otter eats a fish. We will add this to the block of code that deletes the clone after the otter touches it. We want to increase the fish eaten variable by one and the fish population by negative one. Can you figure out how to use the change variable blocks to do this? Does your code look like ours? The last thing we need to do for our game is stop the game when someone wins or loses. We've already written the code for this. We just need to connect the blocks. Go to the try again sprite and connect all of the blocks. Do the same for the you win sprite. Take time to look at the code for these blocks. How do you win the game? How do you lose the game? Our game is meant to simulate a successful ecosystem. You win the game if the otter has eaten more than 10 fish and the fish population is between 5 and 10. You lose the game if the otter eats all of the fish in the river or if the fish population gets over 10, overpopulating the ecosystem. You can change the parameters to change how you win and lose the game. Take time to play the game. Does it work like you expected? Congratulations, you have finished the My Size Hour of Code.